this video, I'm going to go over how to install Chess Position Trainer 3.3 to learn the openings that I have on the website or another opening uh, in PGN format. This version is an older version. There is a newer version available. However, the newer version, you do have to pay for it. The version that I have here is uh, free and it is uh, its full version. I'm also going to show you how to configure it so that it does work on all the versions of Windows. So first you want to go to my website, masteryourchess.com. You want to click on this link with the book that says openings.pgn. And then you want to click on chess position trainer. This page has the installation file that you need and it also has a link to the framework 1.1 that you can download it from Microsoft. Being an older uh, version, you do have to install this framework in order for the program to work. So let's download the framework first. So this sends you to the Microsoft website and this red box here where it says download has the file that you need. And then we could close this up. Then you could download the installation file. And I believe the default location is the downloads folder. So let's go to the downloads folder. So here are the two softwares. The first one that you want to install is the framework. This is the file that says uh, .NET FX. So let's install the framework. Okay, the installation is complete. And now we're going to be able to install Chess Position Trainer. So let's run the setup file. Next, let's also create a let's also create a desktop item. And then I want this software to be available for everyone, so I'm going to click here everyone. And then close. All right. Now the software is installed. Let me close this out. And you can see the desktop item right here. However, in order to be able to use it, you want to um, set up the configuration to run in the compatibility mode uh, for Windows XP Service Pack 3. So what you want to do is right click the icon and you want to go down to properties. And right here at the top, you want to click on compatibility. And you want to make sure that this box right here is checked. It says run this program in compatibility mode. And you could select Windows XP Service Pack 3. And then click apply. And then OK. If you don't do this step, what's going to happen is that uh, your program is going to keep on freezing as you try to use it. However, after you set up this compatibility mode, it's going to run um, pretty well. So let's open the program. Okay, after you've installed the program, this is how it's going to look. And I'm going to show you now how you can use it to study different openings. First, you want to create a new repertoire. So I'm going to say new. Um, I'm going to call it um, my repertoire. And then OK. And now it's going to ask you what opening that you want to import. Let me say the max launch attack. And this is an opening for white. And now it created the opening. However, there are no moves into the opening. To be able to import the moves, first we have to download them from the website. So let's go back to masterchess.com. Um, you'll find the openings under the first link with the book. And here are the, here's the software that I'm installed. But if you scroll down, you will see the openings in PGM format. The gray boxes are openings for white. The dark boxes are opening for black. So I've created the max launch attack. So let me just click on this. And it's going to download it. And I'm also going to click on the Kerocon complete just so I can show you how you could import an opening for black as well. Okay, so after the openings are downloaded, you could go back to the software. And now you want to import the moves into the opening. So what you want to do is you want to go here where it says sub repertoire. And you want to say import PGN file into the current sub repertoire. 
the openings that you create here are called sub repertoires. And then don't worry about these, you're just gonna click okay. And now this is the max laundry text, so I'm just gonna click on it. And then it's gonna say 342 moves imported, zero moves failed, okay. So now we do have all the moves imported into the opening. If you go through the software, you'll be able to see uh, the moves are already in. Now let's create an opening for black, the Kerokon. What you wanna do, you wanna go here where it says sub repertoire. And I'm gonna show you a shortcut. You wanna click on import PGN file, but you're gonna say to new uh, sub repertoire. And this is gonna ask you, what is the name of your sub repertoire? In other words, what is the name of your opening? And I'm gonna say Caracon complete. And then this is an opening for black. So I'm gonna click on black and then I'm just gonna say, okay. Uh, again, click okay. And now I'm gonna click on the Caracon. And then all moves were important, okay. And now, if I scroll down with the arrows, you'll see that the openings are in. Now, how can you use the software to learn a new opening? What you wanna do is go here on the uh, upper left-hand side where it says training. And then we're gonna go next with the training wizard. You'll select what opening you wanna study. Let's say the Mox Lounge attack. And then it's gonna give you a cursor that will allow you to be able to select how well you know the opening. If you have the cursor towards the beginning, that means that you're just learning the opening. And if you are gonna move further down, that means you know the opening um, pretty well. So let's leave it in the beginning for now. And let's say we're just learning this new opening. Let's click uh, next. After you click next, it's gonna give you a description of what's gonna do for you in the beginning. So you're gonna, it's gonna always start from the beginning. Um, it's gonna do the first six moves per variation. Uh, the moves will be played by the computer first. The variation has to be played correctly two times. Uh, two mistakes per position and five per variation will be allowed. And then it's gonna deduct 10% uh, percent out of the training score each time you make a mistake. So let's say uh, finish. And now you could see the computer is gonna demo the lines and it's all it's gonna stop after the six uh, the first six moves. And here's the end of the six moves. And now you're gonna have to press the space bar to uh, practice. So the computer just showed you how the opening uh, plays. And now you're gonna do the moves for white and the computer will do the moves for black until you reach the uh, end of those uh, six moves. You are gonna have to do it twice correctly and then the computer will show you a different variation. And then like this, you'll be able to uh, practice the opening. The more you learn the opening, the computer, it will go advance the cursor for you and it will not demo the line in the end. So now let's uh, uh, train an opening for black. So let's click next. Let's select the Caracon complete. Next. And let's say this opening, we know it pretty well. So let's go maybe about in the middle and let's click next. So here it gives you again a description. It's gonna say always start from first. It's gonna give you the complete variation, not just the first six moves anymore. The variation has to be played correctly for one time. One mistake per position and two per variations are, are allowed. And then they will have a 20% uh, reduction in your training score if you make a mistake. So let's click finish. And now you could see that it changed to black because we selected the Caracon, which is the uh, move for black. And as we're making these moves, you can see it doesn't demo the line anymore. Uh, the computer plays the moves right away. And like this, we'll be able to uh, learn the opening. To stop training and close the software, you're gonna have to click on the stop button at the top. 
and then you'll be able to close the program okay thank you so much for watching hopefully watching this video helped you uh, install the software and you will be able to learn new openings in and create a new repertoire thank you and have a great day if you liked my video please subscribe and don't forget to check out my new website masteryourchess.com where you can learn, practice, test, and master your chess knowledge.